Oh, and you don't give a damn. Let them folk know your your the reach, what you trying to do with your missions. Black women are to blame for ninety five percent of the dysfunction in the black community. These black women say they are strong, they're independent, they don't need a man. They're raising all these kids that are out here causing hell. And oddly enough, nowadays, the guys have more softer faces than the women. These women look like linebackers. I, and the I, ones I, that don't look like linebackers have on so much I fucking makeup, drugs. weave, and eyelashes that they look like any old tranny. Drugs. Drugs play a big part in the situation for how they looking there. Them motherfuckers getting high as hell. Them and they just rough. But even the ones that ain't, these big back ass hoes. Deep talking, deep, deep, deep voice talking that bitch. Rah, rah, rah. Oh, weak ass nigga. These hoes is tougher than niggas now. Yeah, I, I, I know from probably both our personal experience, we know motherfuckers can get ignorant. I know you done been through situations and shit, both of us, but you, you ain't got no advice for them young fellas out there with dealing with these women when they meet them? Hey, man. Stay away from ratchet holes. Set you some standards. Like First, it, uh, it, what did they give them your definition of a? If you had made the hood definition of ratchet hole, what is your definition? Whatever you see as soon as you cut on IG. Explain to me. I mean, I pretty much know, but they might not understand. I will show you mine. My IG look like a goddamn. I'd be embarrassed to open this motherfucking public. Not gonna lie. Go think you on a porn site. Yeah, you gotta say the first. You just say I said the first five. Can you see it good? The you might want to blot your name out. I don't give a no. That, I'm public, man. Who the fuck is see? Bitches doing it now. They they be tempting me, inboxing me now. That that that's. Well, you said I said the first five. Didn't so I? I'm saying this here. I, I that's a problem in the community. But if they didn't have a crowd or nobody. God damn it, uh, paying them more attention, they probably would stop. I agree. That's why I just told the young men, stay away from these ratchet hoes. It's okay to pump it up. Give them $40 to go back your way. Don't get these bitches pregnant. But I'm Don't saying, have no relationships with them. So get, get you a, a high value. Get you a woman who, who has a marketing degree or who's studying to be a biologist or a pharmacist so or some shit. It's the difference between a hood ratchet and a working ratchet. Yes. Cause this some motherfuckers working and shit got their shit together yeah. still ratchet as hell. But you ratchet man, you ratchet. Can you take a ratchet bitch to a Fortune 500 meeting with you? Mmm, I don't think that would be right. So that's not the type of chick you need, and it's definitely not the type of chick you need to get pregnant. Cause once she know you, once she knows she can't keep you down, and you headed for big things, she gonna ruin your life. It's child support time then, but well, you can't see your child then. I know we were talking about that off camera. We were just talking about the child support and shit, and you were saying about the, uh, what you were saying, it, it should be 50 50, six months, six months, and a lot of women don't want to do that. Yeah, however, it don't, however y'all work it out, it should be 50 50. Child support shouldn't be needed unless it's just one of them niggas that refuse to help. But I feel like if the child is at my house six months of the year, I take care of all his housing, clothing, food. The mom does the same. If either one of us need help doing that six months, we help out. I I know you were telling me your interesting situation you had in your personal situation. You can elaborate if you want to. You ain't got to. You don't want to about the you know and let them know your personal experience or what's going on in, in your life and why you feel the way you feel. Okay, I go into it. I go into it by going with a post that I made today that I'll be uh, speaking on later on page. Money Boy Trey on all social media, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them know. three Y Money Boy one word. But I made a post earlier that said that motherfucking way. I am terrified to marry a black woman, and I was asked why, and he said, "Give a personal example." A personal example is because my baby mama number three. Lied on me, had me locked up, and for the past three years, I have been awaiting trial for aggravated assault. Mm. Bitches lie. Mm. Bitches will fuck your life up. And so now I'm in a situation for the past three years where because of the lie that she had, I had a restraining order on me for a year. One for my child as well. Missed him graduating from kindergarten. It's all her fault. Straining orders up, but guess what? I'm on trial, so I can't call and contact her because 
I don't want to have no witness tampering or intimidation or nothing like this.